Hey everybody, Austin here with a new Let's Play series on Crusader Kings 2, um, Sons of Abraham. So, expansion pack just came out today. Um, it's been a long time since I've played Crusader Kings 2. I've been mainly playing Europa Universal 4, so I figured let's go back, give it a try today. Let's see how we do on it. So, because it's been a long time, I'm going to play kind of a country that I haven't played in a long time. You know, I think this will kind of be a good entry for me is let's going to play over here in the uh, Ireland area, or um, not Ireland, but yeah, the over here in the uh, island over here, and we're going to play as Ormond. So let's go ahead and start. We're starting uh, 896, or 867, the earliest time we can play. We have it on Iron Man mode, so we can look at maybe getting some achievements. And let's go ahead and play. We will call this Iron Man Ormond. All right, let's start. So, I'm probably gonna go a little slow on this, as slower than I would on my Europa Universal 4, just because I have never, like I said, I haven't played Sons of Abraham before, and it's been a long time since I've done this, so not quite sure on how much things have changed. So, let's see here. We need to pick an ambition, it looks like. Because as you can see, I have all my pop-ups coming up, because it's been a while since I've played this. Actually, it's my first time playing it on this machine. Uh, what do we want our ambition to be? Probably get married. What do we have here? We can amass wealth, become a pagan of virtue, become exiled amongst men. Let's do get married, because we're going to try to get married here soon. And I'm assuming when we find the, try to find a wife... Let's see, I think I want to do that by right... Oh, click here, arrange marriage. We want to sort these by... I believe we want a high... One wife with high stewardship, I think. So let's see here. We have Sarah Nana, Courtness, and Rosalind. Courtness. That's a 10. Let's see, it says here. Affects the maximum size of your mom. So yeah, we want high that. Can I marry her? Yes. I gain two prestige for marrying into the house of Barcelona and a hundred for marrying a relative of a duke. That seems like that's probably good, and she will accept it. So, because I'm an earl, I'm an earl, her uh, counselor of Barcelona. So let's do that. Let's say yes. So they're con currently considering that. And then my ruler's unmarried. So let's continue. We're gonna go on slow speed just for right now because I again, I need to get my bearing straight. It's been a while since I've played this. You know, I've I've watched a couple of playthroughs as I was playing my EU4, but it's been, I've seen how I've done it myself, I know a lot's going to be different. Let's see here, so... Earl Dushin and Serenada have gotten married. We can collect the royal aid duty to pay for the ceremony. Yes, everyone is concerned, or no, people respect wealth. So, I'd rather gain the prestige. I know prestige is a little different here. It goes a lot higher than it does in EU4, because it's already higher than what it would be in EU4. Um, let's gain that 50 prestige. And they accepted it. So cool. So we have a wife, so if we keep going, it should say I, I did my ambition. Cool. And I got an achievement for it. Awesome. So let's pick a new ambition now. And let's disable that hint. What should we go with? Probably have a son. Now, I forgot to check. What, what are her stats? Elusive Shadow. She's just. She's greedy. Content. Oh, she's chased. Ouch. I did not check that at all. Alright, so 15% less chance of fertility. So, chances of a son might be a little lower, but you know what? We're gonna try anyway. If anything, we can always do an intrigue to kill her off and find one who's a little bit more fertile. But let's go back to me. Let's pick our ambition. Let's try to have a son. So here's our stats. You can see here, we get, for having our wife, we get a lot more stewardship. So our spouse gave us plus five on stewardship, which increases the amount of land we can hold. What do we have? We have an elegant wastel, which increases our stewardship, lower diplomacy. So we're cynical. 
trusting, kind, and just. Just is good. We just our intrigue is really low. Even though with our council we got really high. Yeah, we ourselves has a lot of stewardship, which is nice. So let's go ahead and start looking at the lands here. So this is our country view. What do we have here? That I think we want to let's disable a hint. We want to start trying to fabricate a claim on this. How do I do that? Well, I think I gotta use my advisor to do it. That's right. So council. We say our chance is that our chancellor. Approve the regulations, fabricate claim. Alright, so let's fabricate that claim. Because we want to start going to war and so we can form our area. So let's form a claim here. It's our marshal what we want him to do. We want him to probably train troops or research military tech we want our steward to probably collect taxes our spy master we want him to study technology let's stick him over in France somewhere Actually, I can't move him anymore, alright, that's fine. And our chaplain, we want them to improve religious relations, and let's go and do that with the papal state. So we can be, get good with the Catholics, because again, we want to try to win some of those new Catholic ideas. So, let's go ahead and start. Let's increase our speed up a little. Let's do three. We gotta let some things kick through. Um, as that's going, let's see if I can get myself re familiar with some of these. So, laws. Succession law, we are set as a agnatic, conestic, gravel, gravel kind. So it's divided amongst my children, with the oldest getting the primary title. If the ruler has no children, you can inherit the law of the facto. Okay. What does our tech look at? Yep, tech is different here, I remember. So we really have no control over it, it just kind of happens. Researching cavalry, siege equipment. Oops, something happened. A message from an arranged marriage has been received from Louis Carlin. We propose that King Louis. So that's one of my that's my sister. So they want to marry my king to a sister. Let's do it. It's gonna get us into uh, heir to the kingdom of West France. So we have our our uh, nephew eventually become the heir here. So that's always good. Keep going. Also give us a good ally. Our military. So right now our bishop doesn't like us enough, so we don't get any troops from him. So we have a total of 324 vessels we can raise. Our intrigue. So we have one leak claim. The Duchess Duchy of Barcelona. Okay, so that's where our wife came from. So we have a claim on that through our wife. But I don't think we want to do that yet. Yeah, they're an ally, so we don't want to do that. No factions. Is there any plots we can do? Kill our wife. Well, we don't want to do that yet. And religion. Right now, bishop. My chaplain is set as the d bishop. There's the pope. Let's see, go to the, what can we do to interact down there? So we're improving relations there because right now they have we have a negative 11. So we'll improve that a little bit. Let's keep things going. See what we can find. How's our claimant doing on this? 10% chance yearly that will fabricate a claim. Where is my console? Proof. Really need to get my guy liking me better there. I should. We'll keep this guy improving in Rome for a little bit. 
and then we'll come back and have him try to improve my counselor. Unless, is there things I can do to help improve my bishop's opinion of me? See, I think I need to go to me. Vassals, here we go. So his opinion is negative 39, basically getting personal diplomacy, gray of alkaline. Can we do rewrite click? Diplomacy. Give him an honorary title. Let's give him... Let's give him cup... Let's give him high armor. So his opinion is now 49. Can we send him a gift? Send him 33 ducats, which will improve his opinion of me by 23. And where are we at now? Back on me. Vassals. 49. What does that mean for our military strength? Nope, still none. Because he's more loyal to the Pope. Can I see his loyalty to the Pope? Ah. Focus on getting that up. So maybe once we get some more money, because right now we're getting 1.28 a month. Alright, what do we get here? When children lacks a guardian. So must my Kingsman. Well, let's give him a guardian. Educate child. We want to educate him. We'll eventually want him to become a diplomat, so we need someone with high diplomacy. So let's have our Chancellor do that. That will also improve our Chancellor's opinion of us, I think. She's also a blood relative. Sent. Alright. Beloved sister is concerned she's still not married. I'll find her someone nice. Alright, so apparently we need to marry off her sister. My brother... Which sister is it? This one. Well, that one's married, so it must be this one. Yep. So let's see if we can find her... A marriage. So we probably want to try to get arrange her to someone who is high. Let's see here. This guy wants to get married. He is in the kingdom of Balosk. Which I have no idea where that's at. How would I do that? Do I hit find? Just do him. He's got four, one, eleven, five, nine. His traits: deceitful, thrifty clerk. He's proud, slothful, and just. And he's part of the kingdom. Oh, he's over here. All right. So get us into the Byzantine Empire. Let's do that. That seems like good. And yes, he'll do it. We'll gain ten prestige from marrying into a house, and two hundred from marrying a relative of a king. Will they materialize it? No. That's fine. Cool, so now we got a relative over here, which means we'll eventually have them as we could call them in two, war two if we need to, maybe. But then it's also on the flip side, we might get called into war with it for them. Let's unpause. How's this going along? Cool, they accepted. waiting for that fabrication of a claim. Major nomads no more. The king of Migus, Almos, has decided to settle down into the Capitine Basin, making it the new homelands. Okay, interesting. Uh, what's the Pobble State think of us now? 
opinion. Where did I see his opinion of me? It's my opinion. We'll just keep that going. Kind of just right now, we're just kind of waiting for, again, claims to go through so we can take a claim on this area here. And then actually start to do something fun, because I don't think, I think if I try to declare war on him now... Yeah, we can't. We have no Kaze Belly. Which is kind of thing that sucks, because it makes it harder to go to war with people. Not that Kaze Belly. Oh, what came up here? message for a call to arms. Blessing you upon your house, we request that you honor your obligations and call to arms against Chief Minar of Belgoro. Where's the find button? Find the character. I want to search for M.A. N A R, not R L. Search all. A N A R. Here we go. Minar, chief of Belgardo. Where are you guys located at? All the way over here. Okay, so that's all over in the Bismutin. Oh uh, yeah, we'll accept, because we probably we're not gonna be able to get over there, but we want to keep our relations good with them. Yeah, there's no way we can get all the way over there. So, I think that's probably a good spot to end this episode. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Again, it's my first time playing CK2 in a long time, so this will be a learning experience for me. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and like it. The likes really do help me out a lot. Um, also, if you, can subscribe, if you want to see more CK2 videos and more Europa Universal 4 videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I release videos daily. You can also follow me on Twitter at Hilldog1378. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.